Kia ora, I'm Steve Lukowski. For most of my life I've been interested in hard journalism. The sort of journalism that gets behind the lies and uncovers the truth. In this documentary we'll be looking into those so-called lies behind the cult community of Shadowbrook. Come with me as we uncover the secrets that leave me and my crew quivering with fear. It's a warm summer's day of 2008 here in the town of Shadowbrook. Birds are chirping, people are waking up for breakfast, and the city is beginning to boom for the weekend shopping rush. But today is a day different to the others for Hester Nathan, a 29-year-old member of the Shadowbrook community. A day which will change the course of his life forever. You have dialed 111 emergency. Your call is being connected. 111, police, fire or ambulance. Police, please, I think someone's trying to, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I need help. Please down the line while I connect you to the police. What is the location of your emergency? I don't know, it's somewhere. I'm at the, the Shadow Bruce community. Please, send someone. Okay, can you detail what has happened? I've tried to get out, someone's coming for me, I just want out, but I can't get out. They're trying to stop me, the Lord can't save me this time. Please, please! Sir, what exactly has happened? Are you injured? Sir? Kia ora, I'm Joan Campbell. Breaking news this hour. Police have responded to a call out in the sacred religious community of Shadowbrook. Not much is known about the incident which has occurred, but multiple ambulances are on the scene, and locals are reporting they heard loud screaming coming from the community late last night. We'll keep you updated. So what exactly happened the night before and the morning of? I don't know, I can't really remember. But bits and pieces come back to me here and there, and when they do, they kind of haunt me. But if I had to describe it, it was as if an evil spirit took over me. It made me forget everything that I'd done. An evil spirit? That's the only way I could think of describing it. Many ex-members of the group have said that the inner workings and management of the community is very dangerous and results in many members feeling uncomfortable or being worried about their future. In order to truly find out about these secrets behind closed doors of the community, we need to go in and begin asking questions of the leaders and the members who take part in the day-to-day -day life of that community. Alright, so we're just about to head down to the community. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is, but I believe we'll be speaking to Belisha, who is the community leader, who is the cult leader, who we've been communicating with over the past few weeks. We're going to go head down, see how it goes and and hopefully we can find him. Hello! Are you, are you Belisha? Me. No, I'm not. Who are you? Are you part of Shadowbrook? It's quite interesting, um, they don't communicate much. You see all these videos on the internet of, of, of the way that they talk to each, to each, to each other. And, and it's, um, it's, it's interesting to see them in person because they're very unique characters. Very, very odd characters. Are you, are you Belisha? Don't feel me! No! Get up! Get up! Welcome to Shadowbrook. I've moved here when I was six, six years old, and I came here with my parents who have since left the community. They left when I was 18. Um, they said that this place hurt them. They lied. But I wanted to stay here because of the love in this community and what Felicia has taught us. 
we must sacrifice ourselves before we reach our true form. Sacrifice? To the Lord. But Alicia tells us. He tells you to stop filming. Now, you, here. Ah! They, they gave him my son, my only son. They, they punished him for the sins that I committed. He was killed. I was possessed, I killed him! What you saw just there is proof that something is not right here. Something is happening behind the scenes and we need to find out what. Bilisha has taken Gwendolyn to some room down the hall and it sounds like there's an argument taking place. I told you that the Lord does not want these secrets to be released. The Lord will punish you. You will atone for your sin! This place is sacred. I was possessed, I killed him! me but they lost each other. They lost themselves. Sometimes we take children soft toys and decapitate them and put them on our feet. Um, so it's about quarter past three. Mm -hmm. uh, in the morning we are in our room, we haven't been told anything as to what's happening and and every couple of hours we've been hearing weird scratching noises and that's kind of why we haven't been asleep. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a little bit of a time lapse, um, we're going to keep the camera here just just so that you can kind of see what we're up to and so that we can capture anything that's happening because we really don't know what's happening in front of us.